What is going on ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another video and this one right here is all about Molly suing Cynthia. Something that I did not see coming whatsoever, but this is where we at. But before we get into it, please make sure you start off by hitting that subscribe button as well as smashing the like button itself in particular. But with that being said now, when it comes to Molly and Cynthia, we know that these two have been friends for 20 years until it came to an end. Now, since it's come to an end, things have just spiraled out of control, especially in Molly's life with her losing her friend Cynthia and also losing her partner Kelly and also her daughter pretty much out here with some insane accusations that potentially can be true against Kelly. But now we're in the situation where Molly is in a position where she has be, where she has kept quiet for the most part, but now she is taking action that was not expected, and that is by suing her friend or ex friend, ex business partner Cynthia. But why? She's suing her because she believes that Cynthia is purposely out here trying to compete with the business that they both had together of Livy Ray, and because of that, this is where we are at right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, obviously, as per In Touch Weekly, it does say that Molly is asking for a declaration, okay, when it comes to Cynthia stuff in particular, because she believes that Cynthia is trying to compete with the business that they both founded together back in 2006. Now, also, because of that, Molly additionally is suing on other grounds of violation of their operating agreement. And also, at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, um, in touch where we were also able to, in, to obtain information where Molly is now also requesting a temporary strain order, damages, attorney fees, and further relief. Um, the court deems proper in the lawsuit. I mean, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, this is all a lot. So, uh, please tuck in your seatbelts, get you actually, no, no, please sit back, get your tea, and relax. <laughs> but anyway, at the same time, though, ladies and gentlemen. Molly's also out here pretty much accusing Cynthia of trying to pretty much damage their and um, their business because she believes that Cynthia has been contacting some of their clients and also harassing em employees. And also at the same time, Molly did serve Cynthia with a cease and desist letter that, cl that she claimed that Cynthia continued to post negative messages about her online. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. But anyway, we continue, ladies and gentlemen. Now, also at the same time, though, when it comes to Molly, Molly claims that Cynthia um, was only making sporadic appearances in their store of Livy since 2019. She withdrew any involvement from uh, any involvement in the business, operations, fittings, or functions. But also at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, it also continues by saying, we had a verbal agreement with a witness on video of Molly agreeing that I would not come back into the store for reasons she knows. So of course, Cynthia is really backing up a statement of why maybe she's been so sporadic and clearly she's saying that Molly knows exactly what it's all about. But Molly is obviously now trying to twist the narrative, or at least that's how I'm reading, at least that's how I see where this is going. Now, at the same time, though, ladies and gentlemen, Cynthia did also come out with an exclusive statement in touch. I have worked very hard building Livery, and for her to say I have not worked since 2019 is comical. And to be fair with you, for me personally, it does feel very comical, to be honest with you. But uh, we'll get to that at the end of the video itself in particular. Now, also, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're also in a situation where Molly has claimed that uh, a claim uh, also claimed in the filed lawsuit that Cynthia has been making had been, has been making accusations about her to the business accountant and anyone who would listen since 2020. Some of her alleged claims include that Molly should be suspected of killing Cynthia if she goes missing, that Molly was improperly diverting and taking business funds, and that she mentally abused Cynthia. I mean, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this is a whole lot. Honestly, I did not realize their relationship was this toxic, but now we know why it had to come to an end. But anyway, at the same time, though, ladies and gentlemen, down here, it does pretty much, you know, um, go into another aspect where apparently um, a source close to Molly alleges to in touch that um, Cynthia is bitter, that she has always been under Molly's shadow lost out on being on TV and doesn't have an inkling on how to run a business. Hence the reason why she's running her mouth with these, uh, propitious, I can't even say the bloody word. Can I, 
preposterous lies to defame Molly and has gone as far to side with Kelly now to use that against her when it comes when it was Cynthia who was always telling Molly to leave Kelly. Molly is taking every measure possible to keep Cynthia away. Um, the insider claims. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a position right now where Molly is obviously taking things seriously by as by obviously, as you can see here, by obviously suing Cynthia because she generally believes that Cynthia is now trying to compete with her. But for me personally, ladies and gentlemen, I do feel like there are some there are some inconsistencies within what I'm reading here because I am finding it hard to fathom that Molly would tolerate being in business with someone for three years. She's saying that since 2019. Cynthia has paradically just appeared in the business she hasn't really been about. And obviously avoiding what Cynthia said, but Cynthia says that Molly knows why it wasn't. And to be honest with you, the only way Molly would be able to put up with someone not being there, you know, on a consistent basis would be if she knew why and that reason being a serious reason. So we can only really, well, in my opinion, really go by what Cynthia said by saying that Molly knows why I was so sporadic. So to be honest with you, it is quite interesting how Molly has said that because I don't think Molly would want to tolerate or be around someone who doesn't benefit her because Molly, in my opinion, is one of those controlling people that would only have people around her if she's able to control them. And also at the same time, Cynthia did make hints after they split her friends' friends of how she felt or, 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 or of how she claims that she's always been a people pleaser. Because Molly and because, Kel, no, because Cynthia has always seeing herself as a people pleaser, it tells me that clearly she would have done something to please Molly, if that makes sense. But either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, that's one inconsistency. Now, obviously, the other inconsistency is the fact that this random other source who's close to Molly says that Cynthia has no idea of how to run a business. Well, if that's the case, then why would Cynthia now try and start her own business if she has no idea how to run a business? I mean, listen, to be honest with you, I just feel like this is a lot of pettiness. Um, out of just je jealousy of some kind and also out of just um i guess somewhat i would i wouldn't call it heartbreak but of course you know molly is probably someone that isn't happy that cynthia is no longer by her side and maybe it's because she's so used to having cynthia there so she can always use cynthia or she can say things to cynthia or cynthia was maybe there to make it feel better by maybe you know who, who knows what the situation really was but I generally feel like that this is not an attack based on a business standpoint. I feel like this is an attack on Cynthia due to a, another personal agenda against her. But that is given the fact that Molly is the bad person in the situation. Obviously, I don't know that. I'm just saying based on their personalities and what I've seen, I just don't see Molly doing this for the greater good of the business per se. I do. I see this more as a petty thing. And I say this because you see, Apple does not, fall far from the tree and if we're looking at the behavior of her daughter someone that is very bitter someone that does a lot of talking and does a lot of madness i mean to be honest with you for her daughter to turn out the way she has is because well she's a representation of her own bloody mother to a certain degree you know what i mean so depends on how you want to look at it if you dig what i'm saying but either way though ladies and gentlemen i'll leave it down to you to let me know your own thoughts and opinions of what you think do you think that these claims did you think that this this suing is something that Molly is doing out of the fact that she just doesn't want to be run out of business by a competitor or and and really because Cynthia is actually violating their 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 terms and conditions and whatnot or do you believe that Molly's doing this because she's just bitter and yeah well you guys let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section and we'll talk about it but hey don't forget to like subscribe and of course peace